Hey guys, uh, Jake RC Man's back today, and I just want to do another update for you guys on my Vatera Helix. Um, as you can see, since the last time, I have a new body on it uh, that I did myself. Um, painted, stickered it off, and everything. It's pretty dirty though. I don't know why it's so dirty. I think it's just from sitting. So let's put that to the side. Um, since I did my last video, I believe the last time I did a video, the shaft was broke. Um, and actually, since that video, I haven't really upgraded anything besides the body. So as you can see, the body looks nice. This was a Stampede 4x4 body that I had to custom fit on here. Um, so as you can see, if you look here, let me see if I can get it on there correctly. Hopefully. So I can show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, so that's how it sits on there. And as you can see, when I mounted the body, I mounted it way too close to the bumper. So when the body is strapped on there, the bumper gets hard, hit hard enough, it's going to flex back. And what ended up happening is it flexed back and it tore my body to shreds, the front of my body. Which, I mean, really, that's not a big deal, you know. I mean, bodies, you know, you can be replaced. I mean, this body, I think, was like 25 bucks or something. Like another five or six to paint probably which I mean really that's that's not a big deal at all you know I mean you can always just repaint it I mean not repaint you can just get a new body and repaint them um, but when I did this body as you can see I didn't know that they only came with window mass which was my own stupid fault I should have looked made sure they had stickers because I thought it came with stickers you know like the tracks do the back window I left clear because I wanted to put that Chevy sticker on there as you can see, the back of the body has a little Chevrolet branding on it. And I got the Chevy stickers on the sides. And then the skin girls on the sides. Which I really don't care for how the skin girls came out and turned out. But, I mean, as you can see, I mean, it looks like a pretty nice body. Um, the only thing I did was that fuck up there in the front. Where I crashed the truck and I wrecked the body kind of in the front. But the reason I put a new body on this was because my old bodies body post holes are totally like blown out so my body just sinks down on the truck and it, it's just it's terrible and you can't drive it like that so as, I mean as you can see my truck I mean it's had some use it's not a you know it's not an unused Viterra Helix oh that's the other thing I did the other thing I did I didn't tell you guys about was I put these Arma Granite BLS tires on here they are the copperheads uh, they are the boots, copperhead e-boots. Um, so as you can see, I mean, they actually work really well on here. They're a little bit bigger than the stock helix tires. Let me actually wrap the body on for you guys. Oh, fantastic. There we go. Now, if the body's on, you can really see how nice it looks. Um, I mean, it looks good. And another thing, another notice about this truck is that these drive shafts like to break a lot. And that's only on 2S. I'm running it. I haven't ran this truck. I've ran it on 3S once. It took out my ESC. Called Horizon. They sent me a new ESC, if you guys know that from my previous video. And what I've always noticed about these shafts, though, is that the insides never break the inside shaft just the outside break which is very very weird and why i think that's happening is i don't think it's the truck's fault i think it's my fault and the reason i think it's my fault is just the way i'm driving it because i think what's going on is this wheel one of the wheels on the outside is getting caught and i'm spinning the shaft and it's just going snap snapping it off so really, who knows? I can't really say if that's Viterra's fault or that's my fault. I believe it's kind of my, more my fault than it is Viterra's. You know, I mean, yeah, the shaft should be able to handle some power going through them. You know, this, should, this truck should be able to jump just fine and everything. Um, so thank you guys for watching. 
hope you enjoyed the video. I have some more updates coming up on this truck. I do plan on doing some more upgrades. Uh, hope you guys have a great day or a great night, whatever it may be. Please like and subscribe. I will always try to subscribe back. I'm sorry if I don't get to you in time. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.